clapping because you get to look at your phones for the next 10 minutes. Or whatever. <laughs> shit. I dropped my phone the other day, broke the screen, didn't fucking matter. I was still getting nudes, not knowing they were nudes, you know, the huge. I was in the back right now, and your headliner tonight, Manny Ortiz, makes some noise for him. <laughs> Motherfucker was in the back, changing in front of me. <laughs> All cocky and shit, putting his ass in my face. Like, I, can't, I can't see that, but I know there's an ass there. I mean, Manny showers every three days, if that. So, I mean, you know, when there's an ass in your face. So my name is Dez, I'm the only comic left in Los Angeles that does not drive for Uber. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I went to a, a, a restaurant the other day that had their own make your own omelet station. I'm living the fucking high life, you guys. And I got an omelet with chicken in it. And when I, I sat down to eat it, I started to cry. Because that's the closest I will ever get to a mother-daughter threesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> parents in the room, you got parents here? Make some fucking noise if you're a parent. <laughs> If a child came out of you or went into you, make some noise. Hey parents, don't you hate it when you take your baby to the changing table and then you come back with the same fucking baby? Well, I thought I was gonna come back with a new baby. Now this table is just full of shit. <laughs> All right. That's right, baby. We'll be at the bar after the show if anybody wants to join me. Me too. Yeah, we will. But if you really want to have a drink with me, you got to take that commitment, man. You got to really consider what you're doing because let me put it in perspective for you, okay? I drink, right? You drink. We all drink for drink. You drink to get a little buzzed, right? And when you black out, it's time to go home. Blacking out is how I star my bitch, okay? <laughs> you drink until the waitress is attractive, I drink until she's visible, right? <laughs> oh man, I'm singing single right now, this is fucked up. I don't get this thing people say about how it's hard to date with a disability. I don't get that, man. Like, I used to go on Tinder dates all the time. You know, like, I went on a Tinder date, and uh, I, I met this girl there, and she looked me, looked me up and down, and she says, you know, nowhere in your profile did you mention that you were Mexican. I was like, neither do my parents. All right. Look, all I'm saying is, I come with perks, okay? I'm like the Sam's Club rewards card relationships, okay? Like, if we get into an argument, all you gotta do is move the furniture around. We will watch whatever you wanna watch on Netflix. 13 Reasons Why? And I guess. <laughs> Been in some weird ass relationships, man. Some bad ones. I broke up with a girl. Uh, she said, uh, I think we need to see other people. What a bitch. <laughs> girl before that was really kinky. She would always say stuff like, fuck me like you hate me. 
So I got her pregnant and left. <laughs> Girl before that really liked getting her hair pulled. She really enjoyed it. Uh, we broke it off though. It got kind of weird after the chemo started. <laughs> Shut up, you don't know her. <laughs> it's fine anyway. She's dead now. I love, I love being a comedian. I, I decided to be a blind comedian uh, so I could disappoint my parents twice. I think it's working. I come from a generation that learned to have sex by watching porn on the internet. That's, that's how they learned. They, we just sat around and laughed in sex ed. We didn't learn shit. We just watched you porn. Well, everyone else did. So guess who really disappointed their fucking prom date? That shit was an ordeal, man. Nobody told me sex was all about angles. All right, you had to find the right angle to do good sex to a girl. And <laughs> like, if I had known that, I would have paid so much more attention in geometry in ninth grade, you know? If we had started with a fucking sex chapter, <laughs> I would have been all up on those word problems, you know? Like when a wreck, Joey's penis is seven and a half inches. If Susie's G-spot sits on an eight five degree plane, at which angle does Joey have to put his penis to ensure that Susie has it back tomorrow? If, if that joke made any of you uncomfortable, I'm sorry. I, I know, math makes me squeamish too. <laughs> yeah. You know, when I first started doing comedy, people would tell me, they would say, hey man, you need to talk about being blind like right away. You can't do anything else. You gotta talk about it right away. And I said, why? And they say, because if you don't, It'll confuse the audience. Well, good! I want to confuse the audience. Because now you know how I feel about rainbows. Alright guys, so that's my time. I want to thank you guys so much. Yeah.